In this video, we're gonna be immersing ourselves in the world of home entertainment using the Toshiba M550 55 inch TV. So Toshiba has 69 years of experience in TV production and many of world's first and Japan's first technologies that strive to give the best and most cutting edge sort of technologies in the world of TV and entertainment. So in this video, we're gonna be giving you a few reasons as to why this TV should be your next and only smart TV. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at three of the top features on this TV. Number one, the M550 features some of the most advanced display technology with a wide color gamut, the Regza Engine 4K, Ultra Essential PQ technology, adaptive dimming, and auto view. Number two, and this is my favorite. You get a built-in 25 watt power base woofer and dual clear speakers that will blow your mind. That's right, this TV has a built-in woofer. Lastly, you get a proper cinematic viewing experience with both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but we're gonna get through this to show you exactly why this may be the only smart TV you'll need. So let's get started with the build quality, design, and the ports on here. So first off, the size of the TV. The version that we got is the 55 inch TV. You can also get the 50 inch or the 65 inch. To me personally, 55 inch is just the perfect size for my current home entertainment system. The TV itself has a borderless, minimalistic design with less bezels and more picture. The reduced bezels flow directly into the display with pretty much no distractions whatsoever or interruptions to give you a full immersive viewing experience. The stands it comes with are quite nice as well, fully metallic, very solid and sturdy. They do also sit quite close to the surface of the table or wherever you place it. So it's actually kind of nice to hide the messy wires or routers or whatever you have right behind the TV without even being able to see it. They also have little cable management guides on them for you to guide your cables through and easily attach them to the ports on the TV. As far as the port scope, there's quite a few. On the left, you've got the ANT, the 3.5mm audio jack, three HDMI 2.0s, one of which supports HDMI ARC, digital audio out, two USB 2.0s, LAN and even AV in inputs. The power input is located on the right side of the TV. Lastly, you've got the remote. The remote has literally everything you'd need on there with a click of a button. Not only does it have voice control support, but also all your favorite applications and shortcuts are built right there so you can easily access them with a click of a button. That brings me to my next point, the smart TV usability. This is an Android TV running off of Android and Google Play services. If you've ever used an Android TV or a TV box before, it's pretty much the same thing. You'll feel kind of at home. It's very simple and easy to navigate through. You can literally pick up the remote and just start using it. The TV is actually really well integrated with Google services as well. So even when you're setting up your TV with Wi-Fi, you're greeted with the Google Assistant option for Chromecast and Google Play apps, all of that stuff, all right while you're setting it up. So you can even sign in with your Google account and have access to your YouTube and all that stuff right on there. This obviously on the smart side also allows you to control it from your smartphone or your smart devices using the same account. You can download and stream off of all of your favorite applications right on there. Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video are all there with a push of a button. Of course, there's also access to the Google Play Store so you can install additional applications for your streaming needs right on there. Just like any smart TV should have, you also get support for web browsing, built-in Chromecast, remote voice controls, screen sharing, and Bluetooth to connect your headphones and speakers separately using just Bluetooth. Now onto pretty much the most important aspect of the TV, which is its display. Starting with the resolution, the M550 is a true 4K TV, so you get really crisp, sharp looking images across the board and it is powered by Toshiba's very own Regza technology. This offers four times the detail you'd get on any traditional 1080p TV. The Regza 4K engine is responsible for restoration and reconstruction of any image to give you the most valuable and most crisp looking 4K content. 
Using various algorithms, it's capable of detecting textured portions and restoring very fine textures back to give you the 4K image. It is able to restore specular and diffused reflections in videos as well. So something like waterfalls, you'll be able to gain back that detail within each water droplet or in the shadows of the image, gain back that detail from a regular 1080p source. It also has intelligent depth analysis where it can take the depth material in an image and then texturize both the foreground and the background separately. So it gives you a perfect balance based on every image. This is part of the ultra essential PQ technology that is able to go through individual pixels and adjust different parameters to give you the best possible outcome by tweaking individual parts of an image. This TV has support for a wide color gamut, far more than a traditional LED TV. This helps it produce more natural, richer and finer color variations and the result of the digital images are a lot better than any conventional TV. The way that it refines each individual image just looks absolutely killer. So if you're getting one of the bigger models, the 55 inch or the 65 inch, it also has support for a wider viewing angle, meaning that no matter where you're looking at the TV from, the image isn't gonna be washed out or contrast being lost. It would look almost identical to what it would look like if you're looking at it head on. Now, apart from the wide viewing angles, you also get the eye care blue feature, which provides a comfortable visual experience. Toshiba TV's Eye Care Blue technology effectively decreases the level of blue light and flickering in the picture, as well as safeguards your eyes from blue light's potentially harmful effect. It also brings more comfort and visual experience for a great picture quality. You even get adaptive detailed contrasts, which is when the dimming technology divides the image into smaller areas and applies different contrast enhancing curves on different areas according to their contrast already. So blacks can be a lot blacker than usual and whites can be a lot whiter than usual, which kind of simulates HDR even further. Now, speaking of HDR, this supports HDR 10 and Dolby Vision. This will give you true immersion, especially with content that supports Dolby Vision and HDR. Let's move on to my favorite thing about this TV by far, which is the sound quality. Honestly, out of everything we discussed so far, I feel like this deserves the most recognition on a TV because it blew my mind right away. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've literally never seen a TV with a built-in woofer. This was my first time. So as soon as you turn on the Dolby Atmos switch, it transforms this into a literal cinema. The Regza Power Audio Pro equips a 25 watt power base booster at the back of the TV along with dual 12 watt clear direct speakers. Even though the TV looks slim, the power sound is very thick and rich, making you enjoy heavy, deep, bass rich sounds as if you're literally in the scene, no matter whether you're watching a movie, you're watching a TV show or you're in a game. It literally puts you in that space. The marketing for this was described as heart shaking audio and I was like, mm, really? Really? It is super, super strong. The bass actually shakes you. I wish I could show you the sound in this video or make you hear it in this video, but no matter what I do, it will not do it justice. So it's just something you have to experience on your own. But I hope you take my word for it because honestly, this is my favorite thing about the TV. Combining the HDR imaging with the sound gives you an extremely engaging audiovisual performance, transforming your TV pretty much into an entertainment powerhouse or a home cinema, all without needing an external soundbar and subwoofer. Now, additional features on here also include ultimate motion. You've got the gaming mode as well as a football mode. Ultimate motion reduces blur in fast moving scenes, offering crisp and clear images in fast action sequences. This is very noticeable in watching movies that are at 24 FPS or 30 FPS, uh, which basically makes them look like they're 60 FPS. So it adds interpolation to make the motion look a lot smoother. This can all be controlled in the settings as well. So if you want to stick to the more motion blurry, more authentic look, you can do that. But if you want to experience more of that smoothness, you can turn this all the way up. As expected, the gaming mode reduces the input latency to give you the most fast, snappy, responsive gameplay that you can get out of it. I'm not usually a TV or couch gamer, but it does get pretty responsive. This is all thanks to the FIFO memory control technology. 
As for the football mode, it's kind of similar to the Ultimate Motion, wherein it adds in a lot more smoothness and crispness to reduce any motion blur from the content. So you can see the ball moving very clearly, the players moving, the grass gets textured, added back in, you get crisper, clearer, more saturated colors as well. So there you go. Those are my main reasons why you should be buying the Toshiba M550 Smart TV as your next and only Smart TV. To be honest, just from the sound alone, I was already sold. It's such a good sounding TV. Pairing that up with the already stunning visuals from the Regza, the technology that it has, there's so much happening because it's crazy. I, I could go on and on in this video, but I don't wanna make it boring, but there's so much happening to give you the best possible imaging. So with Toshiba's unique Regza 4K technology, wide color gamut, restoration, and incredibly powerful 25 watt power base woofer, this is pretty much a very easy product to recommend. If you guys get to experience this firsthand, I definitely recommend it, give it a shot, and do consider buying this as well. All the information will be given down in the description below. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated, and we'll see you again in the next video. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of content.